crafted tutorial, I thought we could needle felt some flowers onto some fingerless gloves. of the glove. And we're ready to go. I'm going to make one right in the middle so you can see what I'm doing for this first one. To begin with, pull apart some of your wool. Just a little bit. We want enough to be able to make a nice sized ball. Fold the strands in half like this so they're quite short. Then wrap them around each other in a spiral shape so you get a circle. Place the circle into the middle of your glove like this. This kind of makes it look like a flower already, so half of the work is done. Laziness for the win! Poke it a couple of times just to keep it in place while we work, and make sure to be careful of your fingers. Now felt it in place properly, concentrating around the edges to make sure that it's really stuck in place. You can see the center pokes up a little bit more and we're going to exaggerate that with our next stitching to make it look really rose-like. So to represent the petals inside, we're going to poke it in a spiral design which is going to follow the natural grain of the wool. You can see the more that we poke in the one place, the more a line forms. You can really exaggerate that line by pressing quite hard. Now another line around the outside for another petal. And you've got yourself a rosebud! Too cute! But what good is a rose without a petal? So let's take some of our green yarn now. You won't need as much green as we did pink because we just want a little tear shape on the outside. For your leaves, smush up the wool so the grains don't follow each other. Now shape it into a tear shape by folding the edges. When you've got the point, Place it near the rows and overlap on top. Felt a couple of stitches just to keep it in place while we work. And then take all of this end and fold it underneath. Like that. And stitch here too. Once your leaf is secured, all you need to do is draw a little line down the center as the vein. So just continually stab in that one line. And you'll see it start to form. There you go, what a cute little rose! Now all you need to do is repeat the process again over the rest of the gloves. I like to put them quite randomly, that way it looks a little bit more interesting. I give some of the roses double petals, some of them single, even maybe two roses together, a big one and a little one. And it looks super cute! Let's time walk forward to when I'm actually finished. Thank you. 
think I think it's such a fun way to jazz up gloves. Really cute on things like cardigans or hats. You can felt under just about any fabric you can think of so long as your needle can get through it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's craft tutorial and I will see you next week. Bye! If you like this video, then chances are you'll like my others too. Subscribe to my channel, then check out my blog at violetlabor.com. There's even a super cute puppy. <laughs>